okay so we are going to have a great session and uh, these are the questions before i move ahead and uh, i would want to like speak a few points like which is important from the perspective of this batch sabse pehli baat ye hai that uh, we do not have too many uh, theory questions in terms of mcqs and case studies okay good evening virendra good evening kiran good evening prashant uh, so many people are there i know many of them personally also many of them are new for me so without wasting time uh, three four things rather i would want to speak here first of all like since it is going to be a theory lecture i would not want to speak too much of hindi like usually my lectures are 70% hindi and 30% english uh, or 80% hindi or 20% english like that but the most important point here is that you are going to uh, write your paper in english only whether you are a north indian student or a south indian student or a west or east student doesn't matter at all if you are going to write your paper in english i cannot teach you theory in english if i teach you theory in english you will not be able to crack your paper i hope that works thoda thoda bolunge hindi aisa nahi ki bilkul nahi bolungi okay so the good part is that if i speak in english like uh, all the students like the south indian students and the north indian students everybody can manage right itni koi hi fi english nahi bolne wali hu main it will be very manageable english which everybody can understand right और सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट बात यह है कि वो जो वर्ड्स है द की वर्ड्स दैट आई वुड स्पीक दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू अपियर फॉर अ थ्योरी लेक्चर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा व्हेन आई एम स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर फॉर श्योर ओके वी कैन डेफिनेटली टॉक थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा जो भी तुम्हें बातें करनी है वी कैन डू थोड़ा सा पोर्शन एडवांस हो जाता है आई विल नॉट टेक टू मच ऑफ टाइम इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज if the preparation is good okay uh, we will not take too much of time because uh, the length of the topic is also not very much it's like hardly 10 pages okay but it is an important topic isme se theory aati hai okay ek aur baat even if i speak in hindi a bit of it like 20% 20 30% or something uh, the students who cannot understand hindi can stay relaxed because if i have spoken something in hindi you are not missing out on anything so just relax okay thoda to hindi mujhe bolna hi padega warna mujhko khud ko hi lagega pata nahi main itni english kyu bol rahi hu aur tum bologe ki ma'am itna aap kyu bol rahe ho language ke upar main to isliye bol rahi hu because itni sari request aayi hai koi bolta hai ma'am hindi mein padhao koi bolta hai ma'am english mein padhao to mujhe laga laga ki main is pe hi sari baatein karti hu okay fair enough right okay so what i want to say here the name of the topic that we are going to start is the first chapter of ca final afm financial policy and corporate strategy abhi tak till now i was not that scared in terms of the paper because uh, the mcqs and the case study that they have given okay on the portal okay the website of ici they were majorly practical based and you would be able to crack all those questions no you don't need to know anything you don't need to know anything uh, beforehand aapko kuch bhi pata karne ki zarurat nahi hai main bata do main kya padhane wale hu ye jo dikh raha hai na tum logo ko ye whatever you can see on the screen is these are questions that i have prepared today they are questions on this chapter only which i have i have prepared today i have not picked up from anywhere okay and the base of these questions is the current rtp the way they have framed two questions in the rtp same lines i have tried to prepare three questions uh, for the first chapter basically okay i will share this sheet once my lecture is over today the, the link of this sheet will be given to you in the description box and i will be teaching you from the icai module so i don't need to give you anything just open your icai module and we are ready to go okay i hope i am clear all of you uh virendra is asking ma'am i have the theory book uh jo maine shayad di thi okay can i use that book dhire uh, virendra i am covering more than what is given in your theory book in in your theory book we have only two questions in this topic i am covering the whole chapter word by word because i try to understand the type of question that they are going to ask is going to be more intricate 
more complex and you would need a higher level of detailing. If you were supposed to write a theory question, you could have written four sentences on your own also. Okay, you were supposed to know something about the topic, a few keywords and we were sorted. But then the kind of questions they are going to ask you, the sample is the RTP. You need to have a very, very nice detailing of the whole topic. And I am going to do that. Otherwise, I would not have taken like almost like a month to complete the whole topic. No, you, isse jada suraj tum pad bhi nahi paoge beta. Isse jada tu pad bhi nahi paega, main word by word cover karne wale hoon. Tumhare ICI module ka theory ka part main word by word cover karne wale hoon. Lekin woh theory, woh wale theory hoogi, jis pe sums nahi bante. Jis pe sums bante, matlab basically, aise nahi, aise nahi, kuch skip. Matlab basically, tum aise samjho, whatever questions they can ask you in terms of case study, MCQ or theory questions. I will cover all of them from the ICI module. You, you cannot do more than this. Tum khud se bhi isse zyada nahi kar sakte. Possible nahi. Otherwise, I would not have like taken lectures for like whole month. Every one topic we are giving two hours almost like every alternate day. So it is a highest amount of time that you can give like 30, 40 hours we are giving to the whole batch for theory only. So this is good sufficient. You have to just revise on a daily basis. That's it. Uske alawa kuch bhi nahi. Okay, chalo. Let's start then. Yes, e, but why do you want, I mean, why don't you finish with me? Upload to ho gai. I am not going to remove these lectures from the YouTube at all because I want all the students to avail. But give me two hours daily, alternate days and finish it off. Because I will ask you to repeat with me. You will repeat and you are done with the topic. But then rest is your choice. I would like and love you to have in the live mode only. Okay, start now. Now, if you see these questions, coming to the point, okay, we are starting the topic. So this is the sheet that I have prepared. Okay, I prepared today at five o'clock only. And uh, with the help of the, you know, kind of content given in the ICI module for the topic financial policy and corporate strategy. Okay, so these are the questions I prepared, three questions. I feel I could have... Uh, prepared more actually. I could have done more. But then there is a limit to what we can do now. But let us see. But these questions we are going to do once your lectures are over, not immediately. Ek bar lectures khatam ho jayenge, uske baad hum uske upar aayenge aur tum answer karoge. Main answer nahi karne wale hoon. Okay? Okay. Ready, steady, go. Okay, not a problem. Karan, you do as you like it. Okay, now coming back to the topic again. So, make baat tumko kehna chaati hoon. Please give some time. That is the most important thing. You need to give me some amount of time. I'll finish this within two hours. I will not take more than that. Don't have to worry, worry at all. Okay, but then thoda samay dena hota. You have to give some time. Else you will not even write the paper also na. Most important thing. So give me some time. I'm not asking for much actually. Okay. Now, so these are the headings. I'm going to use the ICI module because every line is important here now. Okay. Now the first topic, we are starting the topic now. So all of you will concentrate. So advanced role of CFO in various matters, including value creation. Okay. This is the first uh, discussion that we need to have. A strategic financial decision making framework. Okay, this is the next topic. A strategy at different hierarchy levels. Okay, the third topic. Financial planning. Fourth topic. Interface of financial policy and strategic management. This is the fifth topic. And balancing financial goals with service sustainable growth. Easy to manage. Okay, I prepared, you can also prepare. So the first topic, advanced role of CFO in various matters, including value creation. So you can see on the, see the screen very, very properly. Okay, so the discussion and one more very important thing I want to tell you here is that I am going to stick to the module. I am not going to deviate at all from the module. You know the reason. I can speak at length on any topic. Give me any topic and I can speak at length. But will it help us? No. So let us stick to the module, the language of the module, the keywords of the module, because that is the whole and sole agenda for this batch actually. Okay. So if you want some extra explanation, we can give extra time. But why to bother? Why to bother? 
उतना ही काफी हो जाएगा ओके सो ट्रेडिशनली द रोल ऑफ द सी एफ ओ यूज टू बी अकाउंटिंग फाइनेंस गवर्नेंस कंप्लायंस कंट्रोल्स एंड बिजनेस एथिक्स वो डिड आई से ट्रेडिशनली द रोल ऑफ द सी एफ ओ यूज टू बी गवर्नेंस दीज आर द वर्ड्स गिवन देयर ओके गवर्नेंस कंप्लायंस कंट्रोल्स बिजनेस एथिक्स अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस बट especially after the pandemic and increasing complexities of the environment the role of the cfo is not limited to these activities it has increased further it has been enhanced and four more roles has been given in the module char or point de rakhe number 1 try to mug up with me only okay that's a word i want to use mug up okay number 1 risk management i'll explain you all of them okay risk management okay number 2 merger acquisition and corporate restructuring number 3 supply chain management and number 4 esg financing चाहो तुम उस मेरे साथ में रिपीट कर सकते हो तुम अच्छा रहेगा मेरे साथ याद हो जाएगा तो मैंने क्या बोला ट्रेडिशनली द रोल्स यूज्ड टू बी आई एम trying to repeat intentionally actually aisa mat sochna ki main repeat kar rahi hu tumhare liye kar rahi hu okay to governance compliance controls and business ethics now the additional roles are risk management okay if you see a company there are various activities within a company and every activity will have some amount of risk so the additional role of a cfo would be to look after the risk and minimizers play some role in the risk management okay then number 2 merger acquisition and corporate restructuring there cannot be a more important role where the cfo can uh, play actually okay so basically yahan pe kya hoga ki there are two types of growing a company number 1 organic growth number 2 inorganic growth so this world is moving too fast organic means what you build a company you start a company you build a company like zerodha you can say zerodha is a company which is growing organically it has not taken any funding for that matter it is growing organically only but if you see reliance retail it is trying to take over companies left right center in the luxury segment baby food baby clothes baby toys hemlis everything it is trying to become a conglomerate a retail conglomerate but not organically it is trying to do inorganically so just imagine who is the person who is trying to identify and manage these merger and acquisition because if that choice or if that execution part goes wrong anywhere your whole company will collapse so merger acquisition corporate restructuring then supply management supply chain management we all know that during the pandemic the supply chain used to be very very volatile and disruptive ultimate aim of cfo is what growth and sustainable growth okay in order to achieve that sustainable growth it is important that supply chain should be managed very very properly and should be stable so here comes the role of the cfo the last but not the least esg it is very very important for any company to be sensitive towards environment ओके सोशल इक्वालिटी एंड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस तुमको शायद पता नहीं होगा दैट नाव इट इज द कंपनीज हु आर इन टू ई एस जी ओके हु आर सेंसिटिव हु आर एम्पेथेटिक टूवर्ड्स दिस दे आर आस्किंग फॉर अ हायर वैल्यूएशन इन द मार्केट गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से कुछ भी ऐसी रिक्वायरमेंट नहीं है देर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट साइड बट देन इफ एनी कंपनी बिकॉज सी सस्टेनेबिलिटी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड इन टू डेज टाइम्स ओके सो इफ अ कम सो इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस तुमको पता है एक बात दैट suppose there is a home loan company okay they are funding the uh, houses for that matter yes yes correct correct bilkul correct okay so basically i want to tell you that so samjho ki home loan company hai main home loan company ke bare mein zyada jaanti hu because my husband is working in the home finance company so i know uh, more detail about all this uh, the examples are much better so a part of their funding goes for green homes okay so all the companies which are into esg reporting and everything they are asking for a higher valuation quickly repeat with me what are the four additional advanced role of a cfo post pandemic number 1 risk management supply chain management merger acquisition corporate structuring and esg financing done yes tell me yes done or not correct so then this is done okay 
Now, next, strategic financial decision making framework. Okay, so I'll discuss it. From here, the portion gets a bit vague actually. Yahan se portion thoda vague ho jayega. Lekin mein samjhaunge. And I will speak both in Hindi and English so that all the zoners of the students sitting in the class will be able to understand everything. Hindi people will not miss out on anything. English people will not miss out on anything because I am going to speak everything in Hindi and English both, wherever required. Not, but for people who are writing paper in English, you need to listen in English because keywords you will be able to pick up. Okay, I hope you appreciate that part. Okay, done all of you. Okay, great. So now strategic financial decision making framework. A very important thing written in this paragraph is that what is the whole and sole aim of a shareholder? The whole and sole aim of a shareholder is to maximize their wealth. Okay, and since the companies take money from the shareholders, the most important job of the management is to maximize wealth for the shareholders. That means this uh, there is an alignment in the requirements and the management has to fulfill the expectations of the shareholders. Correct? Now, but it is not that simple actually. What does a shareholder want? A shareholder thinks that a company should try to optimize the investment, okay, so that they are able to extract maximum return from the investment with minimum amount of risk. Learn these two sentences. Optimization of investment by maximize the return. That means the companies, the management have to be very, very careful while choosing the projects. They cannot invest left, right, center in any project for that matter because it is somebody's very hard earned money. So in order to achieve this objective of the shareholder, okay, there are a few things that we need to meet. Again, three points will come here. A clear and realistic strategy. I'll point out that. Okay, you have to remember this guys. Okay, in order to achieve this objective of the shareholder, we need to have a clear and realistic strategy. Number two, financial resources. And number three, a good management team which can help you achieve all this. If you go further, these three points, look at this. One, two, three. Okay, okay, okay. So this is, I'll write underline. Somebody is saying, ma'am, you underline whatever Perfect, perfect Sanjay Kumar. Look at here. The satisfaction of the interest. Ye bhi kar sakte hon, okay? Shareholders should perceived as a means to an end, namely maximization of shareholders' wealth. Since capital is a limiting factor, the problem that the management will face is a strategic allocation of limited funds between alternative uses in such a manner that the companies have the ability to sustain. I tell you something. If we try to uh, remember this part you will goof up this part and what I suggest to you is that try to focus on the bullet points actually more so I am trying to make this part this paragraph very very simple though I will underline that don't have to worry about that but be very very careful when I am like talking on the bullet points what did I speak the whole paragraph talks only about a proper Okay, uh, optimal investment where you can maximize your returns and in terms of investment and with a minimum amount of risk. Okay, but I have, I'll underline, don't have to worry about that. Okay, chalega. And then three, a clear and realistic strategy. Okay, they, you will need to have a very, very good strategy. Number two, the res financial resources and the right management team all three together okay number one a good strategy this topic is about a strategy okay not opportunity not investment about the strategy that you are going to use in order to pick and choose those investment and maximize the wealth of the shareholders so strategy plus financial resources and plus a good management team are the fundamentals of business look at this can you see that can you see that? Look at this. Fundamentals of business. Okay. I'm sure guys, all of you, please can you repeat with me? So what is required? You required a clear and realistic strategy. You need financial. Paisa chahiye bhai. You need money. You need a good team. Okay. All three together will make the fundamentals of the business strong. Okay. Next one. We are talking, they are talking about strategy. This, this is a very, very important line. 
that you might have to answer somewhere, maybe like in theory or somewhere, I don't know. I have underlined, but you can see me speaking the whole thing. If I can do this thing today, and I'm going to sit here today, and you'll see, I've remembered the maximum whole chapter. If I can do this thing, then you can do it too. First thing is, Stop giving wrong messages to yourself that it won't happen to me. I'll show you how it won't happen to me. Okay, what is a strategy? Whatever they have written, I'm going to reproduce that only. So a strategy, a strategy is a long-term direction and a scope of a company in order. Five phrases are there, five phrases. Number one, a strategy is a long-term direction and a scope of a company to achieve Okay, to achieve competitive advantage okay, in the fast changing world in order to fulfill the expectations of the investors. Could I speak? You can also speak. So five phrases are there. Try to speak with me. A strategy is a long term direction. Number one, long term direction and a scope of a company to achieve competitive advantage okay, in the fast changing world in order to fulfill the expectations and aspirations of a shareholder. Correct, correct. So this is a strategy. Five points are given. Can I underline that, those five lines? Long-term direction, okay. A scope of an organization, competitive advantage through configuration of resources, changing environment, and fulfillment of shareholders' expectations. Done. नीचे में पढ़ने ही नहीं वाली हूँ इसके अलावा इतन if I am able to reproduce this much in the paper we are completely sorted we don't need to do more than that I cannot mug up the whole chapter for that matter it's not possible I can't do you can't do more than enough now meaning of strategic financial management what is the meaning of strategic financial management I went through the whole paragraph and I could identify three lines which I can remember. So what is the strategic financial management? I'll show you where those three lines are. A strategic financial management is a right balance. Strategic financial management is right balance, okay, between backward looking, backward looking accounting, okay, by backward looking and report based accounting and forward looking and dynamic Financial management. Do you understand what I'm saying? What are they saying? What is the strategic financial management? So basically, it is a balance between accounting and finance. So accounting is backward looking and finance is forward looking. Line number one. Line number two. It is a way of identifying the strategy, not the opportunity. It is a way to identify the strategy with the help of which I can increase the value of the organization. I will come in Hindi, don't worry. And the third sentence they write is that it will involve allocation of resources into competing opportunities. Do you understand what I said? What did they say in the first line? I will tell you one thing. I will tell you in Hindi English. I will tell you in Hindi English. ये जो इन्होंने चैप्टर बनाया है ना इसके अंदर में पैराग्राफ्स में बहुत ज़्यादा कॉन्फ़िगरेशन नहीं है ये कट पेस्ट करा हुआ है कहीं से मुझे नहीं पता आई मुझे कुछ भी एक शब्द नहीं बोलना इसके बारे में ओके क्यों नहीं बोलना क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली पेपर जा करके लिखना है चाहे जितना भूचाल मचा लो तुम चाहे जितना आवाज़ कर लो पेपर तो तुमको जा करके लिखना ही पड़ेगा अगर तुमको सी बनना है तो ठीक है तो बेटर हुआ कि अपनी एनर्जीज़ को तुम इसमें इस्तेमाल करो जिसकी वजह से तुम पास कर जाओगे और अपनी पतली गली से बाहर निकल लो काम खत्म हो गया ओके तो ये जो पैराग्राफ्स हैं इसमें सिंक बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं है जो बात मैं तुमको क्लियरली बोल रही हूँ ओके और अगर सिंक नहीं है तो कुछ ज़्यादा कर नहीं पाओगे लेकिन एक बात का ध्यान रखना जो भी आएगा इसके अंदर से ही आएगा बाहर से कुछ नहीं आने वाला ओके नाउ इन इंग्लिश आई कॉन्ट सी टू मच ऑफ सिंक विद इन द पैराग्राफ्स ओके बट देन आई फील दैट वी शुडेंट क्रिप ऑन दैट पार्ट रादर Just try to stick to the module, okay, whatever is given, because they will not ask you any theory question or any case study or any MCQ out of this. Please believe me. Okay, so just please stick. Main kuch acha kharab nahi bori. See, I will do what makes me pass. That's it. Same I'll tell the students also. Okay, now.
here so three sentences i said number one speak with me number one so strategic financial management meaning meaning we are talking okay what is the meaning of strategic financial management so strategic financial management three lines are given here can you see that look at this here so strategic financial management combines backward looking report focused discipline of accounting with a more dynamic forward looking subject of financial management first line then it is basically about identifying you know the obvious word comes to my mind is opportunity not opportunity possible strategies capable of maximizing organizations matlab main kya karu kaun si strategy identify karu jiski help se main apni company ke ko ki value ko maximize kar sakti hu okay now and ye maximization karne ke liye in order to maximize this value mere ko aise projects choose karne padenge jo competing honge ek dusre se lekin meri allocation of funds bahut perfect honi chahiye they are writing here that it will involve allocation of funds to the competing alternatives or competing opportunities whatever this is a third line it involves allocation of scarce capital resources among competing opportunities okay i am not going to say beyond these three sentences not required at all are you good guys all of you are you good all of you is it helping you are you are you comfortable now will you be able to do something in the paper now so this is the meaning i would suggest ki aaj hi ja kar ke what you can do you can just go and revise this whole chapter and you are sorted completely you can say i'm going word by word okay now functions of so what we discussed 2 minutes back perfect perfect riya is saying ma'am balance then identification of strategy and allocation of funds to the uh, competing opportunities very good very good this was the meaning of strategic financial management okay now second what is the function of strategic financial management the function of the strategic financial first listen to me close your eyes listen to me the function of the strategic financial management is continuous search for profitable opportunities number 2 okay or continuous search for best investment opportunities then invest in the most profitable opportunities number 3 find out a right mix of debt and equity set the processes and controls in place and evaluate the results look at this riya is riya panwar is asking ma'am how can we get pdf riya this is a institute module sweetheart ye to institute ka module hai i am not using any pers because अगर मैं आई कुड प्रिपेयर अ शीट आउट ऑफ दिस बट अल्टीमेटली आई विल कट पेस्ट आई डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू डू दैट आई वॉन्ट टू कवर एवरी डैम लाइन यूर लेट एस सी हाउ हमको पास कैसे नहीं करते ये लोग ओके डोंट वरी सो नाउ लुक एट दिस वॉट इज वॉट आर द फंक्शंस ऑफ द स्ट्रेटेजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट स्पीक विथ मी कंटिन्यूअस सर्च फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज ओके सिलेक्शन ऑफ द नाउ फर्स्ट यू सर्च for good uh, opportunities then you invest in the most profitable one then you find out the right mix okay of funds then establishment of internal controls and system and evaluate the results can you speak with me please S search of the profitable opportunities invest in the most best opportunities not profitable but you that word is not wrong in a way then you invest then you decide on the right mix of equity and debt and then you try to set up systems and internal controls so that you are able to meet your expectations and then evaluate the results and we are done guys okay one very important thing i want to tell you this was function this was function look at this this is function this is function one more is there and that is scope so i told meaning meaning okay then function and the third one most important one coming up is a scope look at this this is a very important this is a very very important uh, ye bahut important hone wala hai okay not a problem not a problem i'll underline that i will underline that now so here what is the scope of financial strategy so four they have given they have given you four number 1 financing decisions okay so they have given four financing decision investment matlab financial strategy ke andar kya kya aata hai uske purview mein kya kya aata hai financial decision investment decision 
dividend decision and portfolio decision i am speaking about this this i am speaking about wait a minute please i am speaking about this so i'll speak about all of them for the matter this is a very very important i have given a star here this is a very very important topic from the perspective of mcq actually because well defined and dekho mcq wherever it is well defined portion they will ask case studies on them only open ended portions even if given in the bullet points they won't create a case study because it is open ended they will always try to create mcqs where it is a closed ended and very uh, like you know very bold stuff is given so what is the scope the scope is number 1 the financing decision what is financing decision financing decision means how much equity and debt should we what is the right mix of debt and debt and equity in the project that is financing decision be very careful number 2 investment decision here financing decision you decide what would be the right mix of debt and equity in the investment decision you decide that which projects should i invest should i buy the machine should i not buy the machine should i buy the machine this year should i buy the machine next year should i put the money into the this project or not okay then dividend decision the company has to decide or the company has to decide whether to distribute the profits in the form of dividends or they should try to retain the money okay in order to fund the future investments matlab company ko ye decide karna hai to pehla wala kya hai debt equity ka mix kya hona chahiye financing decision projects mein dalen kya nahi dalen isme dalen usme dalen ek saal ke baad dalen ki abhi dalen तो ये इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन हो गया देन डिविडेंड डिसीजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करें नहीं करें व्हाई बिकॉज इफ आई नीड फंड्स इन द फ्यूचर आई हैव टू बोरो और आई हैव टू रेज मनी एट हायर कॉस्ट एंड पोर्टफोलियो डिसीजन सो बेसिकली अ कंपनी इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ बिजनेस अ पोर्टफोलियो बेसिकली सो सपोज यू हैव फोर फाइव बिजनेस इन अ वे देन इन सच सिचुएशन वॉट विल हैपन you have to see the risk return profile of the whole portfolio you cannot decide on investing into a project or buying or merging some business on a stand alone basis because it will affect your portfolio that is called portfolio decision again with me number 1 what is the scope of financial management number 1 uh, dividend decision investment decision financing decision and portfolio decision we are done guys okay now strategy at different hierarchy levels strategy at different hierarchy levels let me first speak then i'll help you underline also so strategy at different hierarchy levels first question ma'am what are the hierarchy levels number 1 corporate level corporate level strategy okay then business unit level strategy then department or functional level strategy repeat with me corporate level strategy okay business unit or profit center level strategy and number 3 number 3 would be functional or department level strategy so they are saying ki what would be the kind of strategy at each level kya samajh mein aa raha hai main kya keh rahi hu main keh rahi hu ki bhai ye teen level pe tumhari strategy banegi to kaisi strategy hogi har level pe that is the question they are asking okay so before i start reading with you i'll give you something so first of all there is a company okay give me a second please there is a company okay or organization and the company will have a objective okay so please be very very careful about this the company will have their financial and operational objectives to fulfill obviously you are creating a strategies in order to achieve these objectives right now what i am trying to say you is that at corporate level sunna dhyan se yahan likha hua hai waise samne mein tumhare but suno dhyan se at corporate level okay at corporate level you are trying to select businesses which gives you competitive advantage yaad kar lo acha rahega okay at corporate level you are trying to okay invest into opportunities which will give you competitive advantage okay now in order to achieve that aur tumko ye dimag mein lagana hai that my corporate level strategy should be able to answer three questions number 1 sustainability dekho yahan pe sustainability i'll change the color basically maybe या सुटेबिलिटी सॉरी सुटेबिलिटी है ये वर्ड सुटेबिलिटी ओके सुटेबिलिटी मीन्स यू नो फिर से रिपीट कर रहे हो सो एट कॉर्पोरेट लेवल स्ट्रैटेजी इट शुड बी केपेबल ऑफ आंसरिंग थ्री क्वेश्चंस ओके नंबर वन सुटेबिलिटी वेदर 
whether the strategy would be able to fulfill your objective or not then feasibility whether you have enough resources and whether you will be able to execute or not acceptability means whether your shareholders will accept these strategies at a finance or non finance level or not are you able to understand guys okay guys samjha hai kya please batao mere ko samjha ke fir se repeat karu bolo zyada nahi bacha hai khatam hone ko aa raha hai thoda sa aur hai ye समझ में आया है ये मैं बीच बीच में बार बार नहीं पूछ रही हूँ बिकॉज मुझे लग रहा है तुम डिस्टर्ब हो जाओगे आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल दिस ओके ठीक है सो अगेन आई विल रिमूव दिस एंड विल टॉक फ्रॉम द ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वेरी गुड इफ आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड देन नथिंग लाइक इट ओके सो अगेन आई दिस इज अगेन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट this is again a very very important part and i am damn sure that we are going to goof up in the paper because you will not be able to recall all this because what they have written is a bit indirect in nature so what did i say there are three levels where a strategy would be required corporate level business level and functional or department level done first corporate level strategy so co at corporate level strategy uh, it should be able to answer three questions number one suitability whether this corporate level strategy that we are making would be able to help us achieve in the objective that we have decided or not matlab wo jo objective hai hamara company ka ye jo strategy hai uski help se hum wo achieve kar payenge ki nahi kar payenge number 2 hum achieve to kar payenge lekin kya hamare paas mein resources hai kya hum execute kar payenge ओके okay, हमें क्या हम एग्जीक्यूट कर पाएंगे या हमारे पास उतना पैसा है क्या डू वी हैव एनफ अमाउंट ऑफ रिसोर्सेस एंड नंबर थ्री एक्सेप्टेबिलिटी मींस ये जो स्ट्रेटजी हमने बनाई है ये हमारे शेयर होल्डर्स एक्सेप्ट करेंगे क्या फाइनेंशियल ऑब्जेक्टिव से या नॉन फाइनेंशियल ऑब्जेक्टिव से इफ इट इज एबल टू आंसर दिस दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेटजी दैट वी हैव टू डू एट कॉर्पोरेट लेवल एट बिजनेस लेवल स्ट्रेटेजी लुक एट दिस आई रीड फॉर यू डोंट वरी सो दे से दैट wait a minute please okay whether the strategy would work for the accomplishment of the common objectives of the company determines the kind and the number of resources required to formulate and implement the strategy okay it is concerned with the stakeholder satisfaction and can be of financial and you will have to revise once i have completed without revision you will not be able to manage only thing is that lectures again they are available on the youtube only you can you can increase the speed and you can just see again and again that's what you can do max to max put earphones in your uh, plug the earphones in your ears and keep on listening again and again that's the only way out because it's a definitely a technical topic okay now business unit level strategy so what is a business unit level strategy so, so basically you have different profit centers okay within the company so at business level what is the strategy kind of strategy it is basically coordination of the different profit centers okay trying to coordinate uh, the different profit centers for example any company can have uh, different businesses na so the business level strategy would be coordinating these profit centers in order to help them achieve the competitive advantage in terms of the products or uh, you know kind of or whatever they offer main hindi mein bolti hu so business level strategy kya hogi ek company ke maan lo bahut sare businesses hain theek hai to business level pe strategy ye hogi ki tumhare jitne bhi profit centers hain ya businesses hain un sab ko coordinate karna okay ek aisa plan banana jisse ki wo sare proper coordination hona chahiye aur un har profit center ko ye cheez mein help karo ki whatever product or प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस दे आर ऑफरिंग उसमें वो लोग कॉम्पिटिटिव एडवांटेज अचीव कर पाए आई होप अंडरस्टूड मैं क्या कहना चाह रही हूँ ओके इससे ज्यादा नहीं समझा पाऊंगी तुमको मैं सो दैट इज बिजनेस यूनिट लेवल स्ट्रेटेजी सो बेसिकली एट बिजनेस लेवल स्ट्रेटेजी मैं रिपीट कर रही हूँ सो दैट यू कैन लर्न इट इज कॉर्डिनेशन ऑफ ऑल द प्रोफिट सेंटर्स एंड हेल्प दैम अचीव कॉम्पिटिटिव एडवांटेज इन वॉट एवर प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस दे ऑफर देखो यहाँ लिखा हुआ है strategic business may be any profit center 
that can be planned independently from other business units of a corporation. At the business unit level, the strategic issues are about practical coordination of operating units and developing and sustaining a competitive advantage for the products and services that they are produced. Functional level strategy would be easy for you to understand. So what is functional level strategies? There are so many uh, you know, kind of departments for that matter, marketing department, production department, then finance department, human resource department, research and development department. There are so many departments. So strategy at the departmental level would be to ये जो स्ट्रैटेजी बनेगी ना यहाँ पे ये बनेगी तुम्हारे जो तुमने वॉट एवर स्ट्रैटेजी यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव फॉर एट कॉर्पोरेट लेवल एंड बिजनेस लेवल सो एट डिपार्टमेंट लेवल द स्ट्रैटेजीज वुड बी क्रिएटेड इन ऑर्डर टू फुलफिल द स्ट्रैटेजीज ऑफ बिजनेस लेवल एंड कॉर्पोरेट लेवल लेट मी टेल यू वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दिस this particular strategy or this particular departments would give very very important feedbacks to the corporate management team or the business level people ki bhai tumhare jo customers hote hain unki feedbacks aayengi and aur baki bhai is aapko because they are in direct touch with the customers actually so the while creating any strategy at corporate level the management they are definitely going to discuss with the department level in order to get the important feedbacks and the knowledge that they have okay because they are in direct touch with the people working for them jo niche level pe log kaam karte hain na aur customer hote hain tumko sahi feedback wahan se hi mil sakti hai to jab corporate level ki strategy banegi to inse baat karna inse discuss karna bahut important hoga so basically at functional level strategy ye hoga ki jo bhi corporate level pe ya business level pe achieve karne ka agenda hai wo fulfill karne mein ye log help karenge khatam परफेक्ट परफेक्ट रिया ओके सो दे आर रिटर्न द फंक्शनल लेवल थोड़ा बेयर करना पड़ेगा तुमको यू हैव टू बेयर दिस लेक्चर ऑफ माइंड यू कांट हेल्प कोई चॉइस नहीं है हम लोग के पास आई वुड नॉट से दैट यू हैव अ चॉइस आई हैव अ चॉइस बोथ ऑफ अस डू नॉट हैव अ चॉइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्कोर गुड इन ए एफ एम दिस इज द ओनली वे आउट तो इधर यू विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड इधर यू वर्क विथ मी और यू वर्क अलोन चॉइस इज योर्स okay because see the preparation of these topics in terms of exactly same language has not come easy for me also if you ask me to speak on these topics i can speak anything but that anything will not help you i know that and that is why it has taken some good amount of time for to prepare this so that i can stick to the keywords and the language which is given in the module guys okay technical hoga this will be boring of course because i am not doing some entertainment stuff this is hard core hard work and studies so you will have to work hard guys so again and again getting into the same loop of not passing and then crying and everything don't do that not required do whatever is required to pass what maximum i keep on telling all the students we don't have any way out ultimately तुम्हारी जिंदगी में आजादी तभी मिलेगी जब तुम्हारे सीए का डिग्री तुमको मिल जाएगी तो जो भी उसके लिए करना पड़े ना साम दाम दंड भेद वॉट एवर वी आर सपोज टू डू आई एम रेडी टू स्लॉग विथ यू बट यू विल हैव टू कॉपरेट आई नो इट इज नॉट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इट्स इट्स इक्वली नॉट इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर मी ऑल्सो बिकॉज आई एम अ कंप्लीटली प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन एक्चुअली आई एम अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन प्रैक्टिकल इन द सेंस आई लाइक डूइंग साउंड्स आई एम नॉट अ थियोरी टीचर so it takes a lot of effort from my side also but mujhe aise lagta hai jitne bacche phase hain whatever students are stuck in the you know kind of in this whole loop of pass and fail shayad if i do some amount of hard work the kids will just get redeemed only that's why i'm doing so just cooperate nothing you have to do just listen to me i and i'm ready to do all that hard work is required okay and i'm not doing any mai koi tarah ka ehsaan nahi kar rahi tumhare par ye mai khud ke liye kar rahi hu okay now the functional level strategy of operating divisions and departments the strategic issues at this level are related to functional listen carefully if i read some points will go in your head functional level strategies in r and d operations manufacturing marketing finance okay human resource involve the development and coordination of resources through which business unit level strategies can be executed dekho yahan likha hua hai na that in department ki help se बिजनेस लेवल स्ट्रैटेजीज अचीव हो पाएंगी 
और जब बिजनेस लेवल स्ट्रैटेजीज अचीव हो पाएंगी तो कॉरपोरेट लेवल स्ट्रैटेजीज अचीव हो पाएंगी ओके फंक्शनल यूनिट्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर इन्वॉल्व इन हायर लेवल स्ट्रैटेजीज बाय प्रोवाइडिंग इनपुट टू द बिजनेस यूनिट लेवल एंड कॉरपोरेट लेवल स्ट्रैटेजी मेघा इज आस्किंग मैम वॉट वुड बी द काइंड ऑफ वेटेज Megha, we do not know sweetheart at all this point of time because what I know is that the weightage of the theory used to be twenty marks before this exam. Okay, so you were asked uh, theory questions. Okay, every category actually, and uh, the weightage used to be eighteen to twenty marks actually. Okay, or maybe sixteen to twenty marks. But then this time, since uh, they are including okay case studies also, so I do not know how much. But then uh, I think that if you are able to attend this lecture properly honestly diligently i think you will be able to score your 20 marks very very conveniently if you are able to score 40 marks only in the practical part and if you are able to score maybe like my students used to focus only on the practical part this is the first time i am focusing so much on theory because obviously it, it takes a lot of effort on the part of the teacher also okay so they should be able, you should be like it will just help you score uh, cross that uh, threshold of exemption actually and you need to now this time you don't have escape you will have to study very hard because jab tum theory likhte ho na to kuch bhi likh sakte na uske andar to tum kuch bhi likh sakte ho ek word aata uske around char panch line likh dete hain apan right to tumko do number mil bhi jate hain char ki jagah pe char number ka do number mil jate hain ab wo jab mcq hai to tum usme kaise kar loge wo cheez ye batao na tum mujhe aur wo compulsory ka part hoga tumhara kaise karoge padhna hi padega na चलो ओके लेट्स फिनिश क्विकली अमंग द डिफरेंट फंक्शनल एक्टिविटीज प्रोडक्शन मार्केटिंग फाइनेंस ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट फाइनेंस अज्यूम्स हाइएस्ट इंपॉर्टेंस ड्यूरिंग द टॉप डाउन एंड बॉटम ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन प्लानिंग आई डोंट नीड टू गो सो मच इनटू डिटेल फंक्शनल लेवल स्ट्रैटेजी इज अ स्ट्रैटेजी रिलेटेड टू द डिपार्टमेंट्स दैट्स ऑल यू आर समझ में आ गया एंड वी आर डन नाउ फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग व्हाट इज फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग अगेन वन टॉपिक कमिंग अप हियर ओके व्हाट इज फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग I'm going to say something. You will mug up with me, okay? So what did we do here? Do you remember what did we do? The strategies at corporate business level and uh, functional department. I'm sure you are able to recall now. Correct? Now, financial planning. A financial planner. Listen. A financial planner helps you maximize financial resources. Look at the words. Look at the words there. A financial planner helps you maximize financial resources with the help of financial tools to achieve financial goals are we done look at this look at this look at this financial planning is a systematic approach whereby the financial planner helps the customer to maximize his financial resources yash is asking some question yash you tell me something if there is something uh, from for example if you are asked a question which is based on this like uh, suitability feasibility acceptability or something like that you will have to remember all these points you will have to remember and if you do not if you think you can manage without like remembering then also it is good the agenda is that you should be able to solve questions in the examination i mean uh, go the way you want it's okay completely okay so there are three major components by utilizing financial tools to achieve financial goals and let me tell you one thing why do you get two marks when you write a good theory out of four marks because they want exact language be it audit be it law be it theory of afm be it anything else ultimately you do not get marks because you did not reproduce the same language as was given in the module everybody knows that don't be in the denial mode okay now so there are three components of financial planning very important again three components of financial planning financial resources financial tools and financial goals this is given financial planning is fr plus ft plus fg so please speak with me a financial planner helps you achieve okay helps maximize financial resources with the help of financial tools to achieve financial goals finish okay now they have given this paragraph here 
in two paragraphs what they are talking i'm talking about this paragraph so here they say that okay suppose there is an individual he wants to buy a car he wants to buy a house he wants to marry his girl or uh, his daughter or marry his son whatever so basically there is a broad picture in order to achieve that broad picture they need to plan from day one that is given in the first paragraph similarly if there is a company they need to have a broader picture where they need to specify what are their financial goals and then accordingly they can take a step by step in order to achieve those goals finish okay now interface of financial policy and strategic management look can you look at this, look at the size of this paragraph but i will give you five points and you're sorted you know i will not go through this at all you can go through at your uh, when you are like when i'm done with the lecture not a problem at all interface of financial policy important topic again they can create a good case study out of this interface of financial policy okay and strategic management so what do you mean by that so basically guys they say that interface of financial policy and strategic management they are saying what is the connection between look at this what is the connection between financial policy and strategic management strategic management is overall strategy of a company and we are trying to connect the financial part to that strategy actually so they start with a paragraph and they say that the this whole thing starts with money थैंक यू यश थैंक यू आर यू द सेम यश जो मुझसे झगड़ा करते रहता है आर यू द सेम यश प्लीज टेल मी ये ये एक यश है जो मुझसे बहुत झगड़ा करता है और हम दोनों में लव हेट का रिलेशनशिप नॉर्मली चलता रहता है ये वही यश है क्या बोल यश बिंदास बोल हाँ ना बोल तेरे सवाल दे के मुझे ऐसा लगा तू वही वाला यश है अब वो हंसेगा लिखेगा ही नहीं कुछ भी वहां पर ये वाला जो यश है ना इसके साथ में मेरा लव हेट रिलेशनशिप चलता रहता है वो कुछ बोलेगा फिर मैं चिल्लाऊंगी फिर मैं आई न्यू बिकॉज आई नो हिज क्वेश्चन आई नो हिज क्वेश्चन कि वो क्या पूछने वाला है एनी विच वेस ब्लेस यू ठीक है ना इंटरफेस ऑफ फाइनेंशियल पॉलिसी एंड स्ट्रेटेजिक मैनेजमेंट खत्म करते फिर बातें करेंगे तो connection of financial policy with strategic management. So I was telling you, I know each and every paragraph what <laughs> each whatever is written in the all the paragraph you don't need to go through at that at all at this point of time just listen to me write down somewhere or i will write and you are sorted five points okay number 1 this the first paragraph i'm talking about this paragraph they write that this whole discussion will start at money and end with the money first point okay this whole discussion of interface of financial policy and strategic management will start with money and end with money point number 1 point number 2 okay point number 2 says talks about the sources of the funds what are the sources of the funds with the company they can raise money from equity they can raise money from preference shares they can raise money from uh, bank loans they can raise money through debentures debt and equity basically they can also raise money in the form of public deposits for medium term by offering higher rates of interest to the investors in comparison to a bank so in the first second paragraph they are talking about sources of funds sources of funds in the first paragraph they are talking about sources of funds then in the third paragraph guys they are talking about the right mix of debt and equity okay so what is the right mix of debt and equity it can be 2 is to 1 in private companies it can be 1 is to 1 in public companies so it is also very important for the management to decide on the right mix of debt and equity Uh, considering the leveraging affordability you cannot leverage a company too much because that will increase the financial risk of the company and if the financial risk of the company increases the equity shareholders are not comfortable you know the reason okay and as a result of that if the company is not able to perform well the shareholders will start selling their shares okay so in the third paragraph they are talking about here isko upar le lo kya इसको ऊपर लेने दो सो इन द दिस थर्ड पैराग्राफ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट मिक्स राइट मिक्स ऑफ 
debt and equity i don't need to read you can go through at home later on okay thank you okay this fourth paragraph says that okay here that whatever funds you have utilization of funds can i name that utilization of funds this whole paragraph will talk about that only utilization of funds okay now how can you utilize the funds a new projects matlab paisa kahan dale new projects number b increasing increasing the capacity of existing projects okay or c bringing efficiency in cost so the first paragraph says about connect kar lena baad mein how does it matter ultimately i gave you the whole synopsis actually here so first is like the interface is this sources of funds mai last mein jaake i will help you connect with all of them okay so what will be the source of funds available to me number 2 what would be the right mix of debt and equity how do i utilize should i put up a new project should i uh, try to expand the existing capacity or should i try to control my cost okay and the next one dividend decision dividend decision means what do you mean by that whether i should distribute money to the uh, shareholders because they are interested in getting money now more than capital gain or should i retain money with the company because if i need money in future i'll have to uh, raise money at higher cost so that balance that right balance okay so how what should be the payout high or low how much money should you give to the shareholders because not giving will also not help you because if you do not uh, reward your shareholders with good amount of dividends which they are expecting they will start selling the shares they will not be interested in your company so dividend decision they are talking a right balance a right balance between dividend payout between payout and retention correct na and the last point so basically here this is the most important paragraph ye zarur padhna ye wala bhale tum upar wala mat padho ye wala paragraph zarur padhna kyun padhna because this paragraph will help you connect all the points so what they are saying now that no decision no strategy okay can be decided in isolation okay and that what is the name of the topic interface between financial policy and strategic decision basically so whatever strategy a company decides on whatever strategy they want to adopt it cannot be in isolation they will have to consider all these financial issues and then only they will be able to develop a good strategy at corporate level for the company guys are you good are you good guys are you able to understand what did i do so i just wrote you the whole synopsis of big paragraph who will read that paragraph not required at all but go through this particular paragraph because this will be the bang on uh, kind of exactly what you want in order to connect all those uh, like points bullet points that we have like uh, that you did before na like all this like uh, you know kind of how to use an array ye wala kind of sources of funds right mix utilization and dividend decision so this paragraph will help you connect all those points and we are done guys okay chalo next topic balancing finance last topic we are doing last topic we are doing. balancing financial goals versus sustainable growth i would want to speak something here not too much of lengthy portion is left out it's already only 8 o'clock and we are almost like in 15 minutes we will be done 10 minutes more Uh, to solve the questions that i have uh, whatever questions i have i brought for you and you are done so maybe some topics will take some more times some topics will like take less time but revise zarur karna nahi revise karoge to maza pura kharab ho jayega aur tumko ek bar tumne sun liya na acche se kaan mein itne gaane sunte ho sabko sunte ho plug in karo uthte baithte sunte jahan bhi ho sake revise karte rehna wo youtube pe rahega tumhare lekin main chahti hu please tum live attend karo tab to mujhe bhi maine bola bhi aaj mujhe kaise acha lagega batao 
तुम खाली अपने बारे में सोचते पढ़ना तो है ना तो मेरे साथ ही पढ़ लो एक लड़के ने लिखा कि मैं आपको भगा नहीं सकता ना मैम सूरज शर्मा इज सेंग वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पॉलिसी एंड अ स्ट्रैटेजी ओके इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ पॉलिसी एंड अ स्ट्रैटेजी स्ट्रैटेजी इज सूरज हिंदी में बोलते हूँ कि स्ट्रैटेजी क्या होती है कि तुम्हारी जो कंपनी की ओवरऑल स्ट्रैटेजी होगी मतलब क्या है कि मान लो कि मुझे फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिलायंस रिटेल की आज क्या स्ट्रैटेजी है रिलायंस रिटेल की ये स्ट्रैटेजी है दैट वी वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ बिग रिटेल कॉन्गलो मरेट एज ऑफ टूडे एज सुन एज पॉसिबल ये उनकी स्ट्रैटेजी है करेक्ट है इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव दैट स्ट्रैटेजी दे विल बी अडॉप्टिंग पॉलिसीज समझा सूरज उस स्ट्रैटेजी को अचीव करने के लिए वॉट एवर पॉलिसीज दे डिसाइड ऑन ओके तो वो डिफरेंस है तुम्हारा पॉलिसी में और स्ट्रैटेजी में सूरज समझा क्या अगर समझ गया बेटा तो बोल कौन सा लास्ट पैराग्राफ ये वाला अच्छा ठीक है कर देते दो मिनट दे मेरे को थैंक यू ओके समबडी रिक्वेस्टेड कि मैम ये लास्ट का जो पैराग्राफ है या आप इसको ये कर दो मैं पढ़ ही देती हूँ ना तुम्हारे लिए दस द फाइनेंशियल पॉलिसी ऑफ अ कंपनी कैन नॉट बी वर्क आउट इन आइसोलेशन ऑफ अदर फंक्शनल पॉलिसीज ओके इट हैज वाइडर सो इट इज अ गुड दैट यू आस्क मी टू रिपीट दिस बिकॉज आई विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन सूरज डाउट मच बेटर एक्चुअली दे आर सेंग दैट इफ अ कंपनी हैज देर इज अ कंपनी थैंक यू सूरज कंपनी देर इज अ कंपनी ओके एंड देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्टिव सूरज ध्यान देना देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कंपनी इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव द कंपनी विल डेवलप सम स्ट्रैटेजी एंड इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव दिस स्ट्रैटेजी द कंपनी विल डेवलप पॉलिसीज आई थिंक नाउ इट इज ईजी राइट look at this so basically they are saying in the whole paragraph that we studied they are trying to tell you that you cannot develop a strategy on a stand alone basis there are different things that you need to cater and in order to develop a strategy you need to consider all those policies like dividend policy like uh, capital structure policy okay then whether you want to expand uh, put your money into expansion or you want to go into new project all these are policies so you cannot develop a strategy on a stand alone basis you need to consider all these financial policies okay great 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 okay so i'll read that again it has a wider appeal and closure link with the overall organizational performance and direction of growth these policies being related to external awareness about the firm especially the awareness of the investors about the firm in respect of its internal performance there is always a process of evaluation active in the minds of current and future stakeholders of the company as a result of the preference and patronage for the company depends significantly on the financial policy framework look at this ye line important don't try to mug up all the lines don't try to even look all the lines not required you have to write on bang only on those two lines which you feel are comfortable and which you can remember pura nahi padhna hai tumko पूरा पैराग्राफ कोई बच्चा याद भी नहीं कर सकता पॉसिबल नहीं है थोड़ी हम यही काम है और काम नहीं है क्या लाइफ में तुम वो दो लाइन सेलेक्ट कर लो जिससे तुमको लगता है तुम्हारा काम हो जाएगा है ना वो बात हो रही है अब मैं आगे बढ़ रही हूँ तो पढ़ लेना तुम इसको बाद में बिकॉज तुमको एक बार तो पढ़ना ही पड़ेगा पूरा ठीक है नाउ बैलेंसिंग फाइनेंशियल गोल्स विस अ विस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ पहले सुनो मैं क्या बोलना चाहती हूँ देन आई विल जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडर एंड कलर एंड एवरीथिंग वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वॉट इज सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ ओके व्हाट इज सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ बेसिकली सो क्या सस्टेनेबल देर आर टू थिंग्स हियर व्हिच दे हैव डिस्कस्ड इन दिस पैराग्राफ इज दैट कि इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी हाई टाइम आई कम इन हिंदी आल्सो डोंट वरी फर्स्ट लेट मी स्पीक इंग्लिश इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज अट इज हाई टाइम दैट द मैनेजर्स ऑफ एनी कंपनी शुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ एग्रेसिव सेल्स स्ट्रैटेजी and achieving sales goal in order to achieve 
द लॉन्ग टर्म ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कंपनी समझ आ रहा मैं क्या कह रही हूँ कि भाई आपको सेल्स करना है ऐसा नहीं कि आपको सेल्स नहीं करना है लेकिन आप तुमने देखा नहीं किस तरह की मतलब मेरे को आज के दिन पे कॉल मतलब मैं जिंदगी में सबसे ज्यादा अगर किसी चीज से इरिटेट होती हूँ तो वो होता है कि जो जो स्पैम के कॉल आते हैं सारी कंपनीज के राधर एन के भी तो कैन यू सी द डैमेजिंग कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ देयर सेल्स स्ट्रेटेजी क्या आप आप ये अचीव करना चाहते थे लाइफ में आप जब अपनी सेल्स गोल बनाओगे लाइफ में सुनना ध्यान से हाँ सो बेसिकली करेक्ट 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 एकता तो जब आप अपनी आ, अपनी कंपनी की जब आप स्ट्रेटेजी बनाओगे कोई चीज अचीव करने का ग्रोथ अचीव करने का तो आपको एक लॉन्ग टर्म सोच रखनी पड़ेगी ना तो इनकी बिहेवियर कैसी है कि आज ही सारा एक्सट्रैक्ट कर लो सब कुछ तुम जितने भी तुम बैंकिंग कंपनीज को देख लो तुम एन को देख लो या कोई और रिटेलिंग को देख लो एक बार तुमने गलती से किधर कॉल कर दिया तो तुम देखो तुम्हारी तुम्हारा मतलब जीना तुम्हारा दुश्वार कर देंगे वो लोग दे विल मेक योर लाइफ हेल realizing <laughs> riya has written something i can't speak that on, on the public platform at all she has written the name of some company which i cannot speak on this platform but as of today all of them behave like that only okay so now yes yeah, i'll consider that okay so let's talk it separately don't worry so now here balancing financial goals with service sustainable growth that means whatever financial goals you are making you should keep sustainable growth in mind so first one paragraph here in this whole thing one paragraph here okay in the whole thing they are talking about shuru ke char line mein unhone baat kari hai that it is high time that we should try to understand the financial consequences and achieving the sales goal with respect to the long term objective of the company okay then they have given one example so basically you while you are uh, doing business in a company you are not supposed to think only about current stakeholders you are also supposed to think about the future stakeholders they have given one very good example there are like oil companies for example okay at many times they say save fuel so they are saying that very very good example actually save fuel what does it mean they are asking to save fuel aren't they going against the sales strategy that they should adopt as an organization they are saying they are asking you to save a fuel if you start saving fuel their sales will drop but then what they are thinking that okay what they are thinking they are also thinking about the long term uh, stakeholders basically so if we overuse this fossil fuel today we would not be left with too much of fuel for our future generations that is sustainable growth okay so i'll read for you if you want at all that is sustainable growth actually so basically balancing okay balancing your short term medium term with long term vision that is sustainable growth and in order to achieve they this this would be very very important i'll help you remember all this okay so main padhti hu tumhare yes you can say that environmental damage and many more things yahan pe ek line aane wali hai bahut important the concept of sustainable growth can be helpful planning healthy corporate growth very very important key word healthy corporate growth okay this concept of forces managers to consider the financial consequences of sales increases okay and set sales growth goals that are consistent with operating and financial policies of the फॉर्म बहुत ज्यादा याद नहीं रख पाओगे ये वाला पार्ट में जब मुझे नहीं बहुत याद रह रहा है तुम्हें भी नहीं रहने वाला है तो दो तीन लाइन तो पकड़ लो उसको जस्ट ट्राई टू कैच होल्ड ऑफ टू थ्री सेंटेंसेस विच यू कैन रिमेंबर एंड देन मूव अहेड ऑफिन अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट कैन अराइज इफ ग्रोथ ऑब्जेक्टिव आर नॉट कंसिस्टेंट विद द वैल्यू ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ क्वेश्चन कंसर्निंग राइट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन of resources may take a difficult shape if we take into consideration the right rightness not to current stakeholders but to future matlab agar tum future basically wo log kya keh rahe hain pata hai kya ki agar tum future ke bare mein sochoge correct very very good correct so basically they are trying to say that if you have built an enterprise an organization or a company in order to make it sustainable you should think about the mankind in the future that's it mankind in the future if you try to finish like agar tum sara 
जो वाटर की जो डेफिसिट हो रही है अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड कितनी जगह पे तुमको पता नहीं है साउथ अफ्रीका पानी की इतनी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम है अभी मुझे जवान पे एक ही नाम याद आ रहा है मुझे इनफैक्ट इंडिया में भी जगह जगह इतनी सारी प्रॉब्लम है तो बेसिकली अब ये बात हो रही कोई कंपनी अगर मान लो कि कुछ इस तरह का बिजनेस तो सारा तुम आज ही यूज़ कर लोगे तो ये हम ख़त्म हो जाएंगे सब लोग एक दिन जब हमारे पास बेसिक नीड्स की चीज़ें नहीं रहेगी तो ये सिर्फ ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि जब भी आप कोई बिजनेस करते हो किसी कंपनी की स्ट्रैटेजी या पॉलिसी या गोल बनाते हो तो आप सिर्फ आज के बारे में मत सोचो आप एक हेल्दी कॉरपोरेट बना सकते हो फ्यूचर और प्रेजेंट को बैलेंस करके दैट्स वॉट दे आर ट्राइंग टू से एंड दे गिवन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो नाउ दे दे आर से वॉट मेक्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फाइनेंशियली sustainable very very important this would be the most important thing that you should definitely remember number 1 you should have more sources one more than one source of income number 1 okay you should have more ways of generating income in the same business point number 2 you should be uh, financial autonomy hona chahiye dekho yahan pe likha hua hai mujhe aise line mein yaad nahi hai sara then you should have some वैल्यू सिस्टम तुम्हारा अपना होना चाहिए यहाँ पे देखो लिखा हुआ है ओके यू शुड हैव अ गुड पब्लिक इमेज एडिक्वेट फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम्स डू स्ट्रेटेजिक एक्शन फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग रेगुलरली करेक्ट करेक्ट गैस ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है प्लीज याद कर लेना मेरे साथ याद कर लो इन ऑर्डर टू मेक इन ऑर्डर टू मेक एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फाइनेंशियली सस्टेनेबल यू शुड हैव मोर देन वन सोर्सेज ऑफ इनकम यू शुड नो हाउ टू जिन मतलब अगर एक ही सोर्स भी है तो मोर वेज ऑफ जनरेटिंग इनकम फाइनेंशियल ऑटोनोमी गुड पब्लिक इमेज यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर ऑन योर वैल्यू सिस्टम इंटरनल सिस्टम्स एंड कंट्रोल इन प्लेस एक तो मुझको ये मुझे भी याद नहीं है ये वाला ये वाला सारा याद करना भी जरूरी नहीं है डू स्ट्रेटेजिक एक्शन एंड फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग रेगुलरली बट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आर यू गुड कैन यू रिपीट कैन यू रिपीट विथ मी यू शुड हैव मोर देन वन सोर्स ऑफ इनकम यू शुड नो Uh, you should have more ways of generating income financial autonomy good public image your value system should be very clear and then this one strategic action financial planning regularly and adequate financial systems and we are done guys but this is very very important this is important not from an mcq point of view this this bullet points are not important from the perspective of mcq they won't ask you such kind of questions in the mcqs these are descriptive this is not an exhaustive list na you can add four more here so ye this is not the right mix of set of paragraph or bullet points for a case study it can be a good question for a theory okay then going further here sustainable growth rate i can talk at length on sustainable growth rate if you have studied your uh, afm properly there is something called g is equal to b into r g stands for growth you don't need to go through the paragraph at all i will just speak 5 minutes and you are sorted growth or maybe you can call it sustainable growth okay uh, gs week se sustainable growth or maybe hamare bachche gs ko kuch aur hi samajh lenge hum hum jab equity padhte hai na when we do equity we call it super normal growth and constant growth so the growth that i am talking about here i am talking about sustainable growth okay growth and then you have like uh, b is your retention ratio retention ratio how do you calculate or you can calculate this 1 minus payout ratio and r is your roe what is roe return on equity how do you calculate that pat by net worth what is net worth paid up plus reserves and surplus is net worth you can there is something called a dupont model if you remember you would have done in ca int so how do you calculate roe with the help of dupont model it will be pat by sales net profit margin multiplied with sales by assets which is called asset sales turnover and assets by equity which is called equity multiplier so it is quite a possibility that they do not give you roe for solving this and they will give you akshay this is how we will go this is how isse zyada main padhaungi na theory to sare log bhag jayenge pata hai tujhe 
इससे ज्यादा पढ़ाओगे तो भाग जाएंगे तो तू थ्योरी भी लिख सकेगा ना तेरे को मैंने पॉइंट बुलेट पॉइंट सारा याद करा दिया तेरे को बैठ के तो वो सिर्फ घर जाके रिवाइज करना अक्षय इससे ज्यादा अगर मैं बोलूंगी ना थ्योरी दो घंटे से ज्यादा एक टॉपिक पे क्या ही देंगे बेटा अपन लोग ओके अब बाकी अब मैंने इतना करा दिया अब तुझे क्या नया नहीं लगेगा टॉपिक यू कैन मैनेज ऑन योर ओन है ना तो इसमें तू केस स्टडी भी कर पाएगा और तू डिस्क्रिप्टिव थ्योरी भी लिख पाएगा इससे ज्यादा अगर मैं कराने गई तो बहुत ज्यादा हो जाएगा तेरा भी टाइम वेस्ट होगा बहुत ज्यादा तो इसको तू सुन तेरा हो जाएगा एक बार पढ़ेगा भी वी आर डन है ना सो आर ओई सो बेसिकली गाइस दिस इज जी अब सुनना ध्यान से इस पे कुछ लंबा लेक्चर आने वाला है पांच मिनट का लेकिन जी इज इक्वल टू बी इन टू आर सो सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ टेक्निकली दिस वॉज वॉट कंसेप्चुअली दिस इज टेक्निकल दिस दिस होल पार्ट वॉट दे हैव रिटर्न हियर इज टेक्निकल बट आई आई जस्ट टीच यू करेक्ट ना टीच यू हियर वॉट इज सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ सो बेसिकली सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ मीन्स वेन यू आर एबल टू ग्रो योर कंपनी विदाउट रेजिंग मनी फ्रॉम आउटसाइड और विदाउट बोरोइंग मनी फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द ग्रोथ दैट यू कैन अचीव बाय रिटेनिंग मनी एंड प्लॉमिंग बैक दैट मनी इन टू द सिस्टम दैट इज कॉल्ड सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ दैट सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ can be calculated with the help of the formula g is equal to b into r jitne bachcho ne mujhse लेक्चर्स बाय किया है मैं सारे बच्चों को उतना ही प्यार करती हूँ जो आज यहाँ बैठे हैं सब अपने ही बच्चे हैं ऐसा नहीं बोल रही बट हाँ जिन जिन्होंने मेरा प्रैक्टिकल देखा है ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सीन माय प्रैक्टिकल पोर्शन आल्सो दे नो जो मैं बोल रही हूँ दे आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज वी डेवलप्ड वन एग्जाम्पल इन द क्लास एंड आई शोड दैम दैट हाउ रिटेन्ड मनी कैन बी प्लाउड बैक एंड देन हाउ यू कैन जनरेट दैट जी बट हियर सिंस इट इज अ थ्योरी लेक्चर आई डो नॉट वॉन्ट टू डेविएट फ्रॉम द मेन पार्ट बट इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दैट यू कैन गो टू नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री आई टुक ओके फिफ्टी आवर्स ऑफ फास्ट ट्रैक बैच लाइव ऑन यूट्यूब all those lectures of all the chapters are completely applicable for may 24 exams believe me usse zyada is time pe tum kar bhi nahi sakte maine i have done a very very good coverage 50 60 hours of coverage all the chapters right from uh, equity valuation bond forex derivative ifm irm everything has been done so please go and refer my uh, november 23 lectures you will get on the youtube channel i have not hidden any one of them everything you will be like tumko bahut acha lagega wo lectures dekh kar ke tum dekh sakte ho sheets are there you can just follow them wahan pe maine ye dikhaya hai tumko okay now going ahead correct correct okay so this is roe this is whole so when you are able to grow your company on the basis of the retained money only without putting any extra investment that is called सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ अगर देखना है तुमको एक चीज दिखा दू फटाक से क्या लेकिन अभी बहुत बाकी पहले खत्म कर रहे दो ये वाला नाउ लुक एट दिस सो आई रीड दिस पैराग्राफ क्विकली द सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ रेट एस जी आर कॉन्सर्ट बाई रॉबर्ट हिगिन्स ऑफ अ फर्म इज अ मैक्सिम रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ इन सेल्स दैट कैन बी अचीव्ड गिवन द फर्म्स प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी लुक एट दैट बी केयरफुल आई एम कमिंग बैक टू यू एसेट यूटिलाइजेशन एंड डिजायर डिविडेंट पे आउट देखो can you see this three words my sweethearts 1 2 and 3 now can you see this profitability okay asset utilization and and debt this is the leverage ratio this is can you see that can you see that they are talking about the three three ratios with the help of which we are calculating roe what are they saying in sales that can be achieved given the firm's profitability asset utilization and desired dividend payout and debt so this is dividend payout b is dependent on payout and so four things basically 1 2 3 and 1 b four items they have mentioned here what is the tumko kyon yaad karna why do you want to mug up anything for that matter you can understand the sustainable growth rate is a measure of how much a firm can grow without borrowing more money after the firm has passed this rate it must if the company is growing beyond that then definitely they will have to ask for money from outside either in the form of the debt or they need to raise equity sorted sgr formula the same formula which i gave you 2 minutes back and then so this is again very important a sustainable growth model assumes a business to be you know what 
they want the assumptions of sustainable growth model is that you need to keep your payout ratio constant you need to keep your capital structure constant okay look at this maintain the target capital structure without issuing new equity okay maintain the target dividend payout ratio and increase the sales as rapidly as market conditions allow can you see that remember three assumptions of sgr number 1 the target payout ratio should be kept constant the capital structure target capital structure should be kept constant without issuing uh, extra equity and third increase the sales in sales ko utna hi increase karo jitna market allow karta hai three assumptions of sgr so guys you know kind of now if i skip the whole paragraph this one you not required at all the most important point after this would be this part economists and business researchers contend that achieving sustainable growth is not possible without twin corner stones growth strategy and growth capability ye tumko thoda sa na baad mein kya hoga na tum thak jaoge aur fir man nahi karega aur ye reh jayega tumhara chhodna nahi okay apan kuch nahi chhod rahe so basically two kya likha hai economists and business researchers contend that achieving sustainable growth in order to achieve sustainable growth we need to have two pillars growth strategy and growth capability means you should have a very very clear growth strategy but you cannot achieve that growth strategy without having the right infrastructure in order to implement that strategy and vice versa suppose you have got the infrastructure but you do not have the capability or you do not have a right strategy for that matter you will not be able to do in order to achieve sustainable growth you need to have a very very good strategy in place and right infrastructure in order to execute that strategy ye pura wahi likha hua hai yahan pe dekho yahan pe pad lena ओके okay, आगे बढ़ती हूँ ये लास्ट है जो तुमको मैं सिखाना चाहती हूँ इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव सस्टेनेबल एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मस्ट देखो तो यहाँ भी लिखा था ना यहाँ भी लिखा था फिर ये अरे रे देखो ध्यान देना भाई ये फिनेंशियली सस्टेनेबल बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल दिस इज फिनेंशियली सस्टेनेबल एंड दिस इज नॉर्मल सस्टेनेबल be careful okay be very careful have a clear strategic direction be able to scan its environment or con context to identify opportunities at work yes riya we, we, i am any which way is going to do that riya is asking ki ma'am would you conduct test i am going definitely to do that you can tell me when do you want to appear for test i am planning once this batch is over in march then we can start with a proper uh, exams on youtube a properly framed paper on the format of ici okay and we can have multiple test actually and we can चेक द पेपर ऑनलाइन ओनली राइट ऑन यूट्यूब तो मुझे तुम लोग सोच के बता दो टाइम है अभी तुम्हारे पास में दैट फ्रॉम विच डेट यू वुड वॉन्ट और एक्सपेक्ट द टेट्स टेस्ट टू हैपन आई एम रेडी टू दैट कम से कम फोर टेस्ट वी कैन डू नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम डू फिफ्टीन ऑफ मार्च से लेके फिफ्टीन ऑफ अप्रिल तक नॉन स्टॉप एवरी वीक टेस्ट ले लो ओके नाउ हैव अ क्लियर स्ट्रैटेजिक डायरेक्शन ये याद करना पड़ेगा तुमको वी आर गोइंग टू लाइक खत्म होने वाला है बी एबल टू स्कैन इट्स एनवायरमेंट और कॉन्टेक्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर इट्स वर्क बी एबल टू अट्रैक्ट मैनेज एंड रिटेन कॉम्पिटेंट स्टाफ ये वाला बात कर रही हूँ ये हो गया ओके देन हैव एन एडिक्वेट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एंड फाइनेंशियल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ये याद करने में तुमको नानी याद आ जाएगी लेकिन याद करना पड़ेगा तुमको चॉइस नहीं अगर ये सस्टेनेबल है वो फाइनेंशियली सस्टेनेबल था दैट वाज इजी टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज द पॉइंट्स वेर वेरी इंटरलिंक्ड हियर दिस इज लाइक यू कैन जस्ट लाइक बी जस्ट राइट टू टाइम्स देर इज नो अदर वे आउट ओके बी एबल टू डेमोस्ट्रेट इट्स अफेक्टिवनेस एंड इम्पैक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू लेवरेज फॉर द रिसोर्स एंड गेट कम्युनिटी सपोर्ट कैसे यू नो हाइज यहाँ पर कुछ भी ज़्यादा ऐसा नहीं लिखा हुआ है बहुत ज़्यादा ओके इट्स लाइक कम्प्लीटली ओके इवन इफ़ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सो आई थिंक वी हैव बीन एबल टू कवर द पोर्शन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक फाइनेंशियल पॉलिसी एंड कॉर्पोरेट स्ट्रैटेजी वेरी वेरी प्रॉपरली एक दो पैराग्राफ में पढ़ लेना बाद में कोई ऐसी बट ये पॉइंट्स मैं तो कोई मगअप नहीं कराई हूँ तुम जस्ट ट्राई टू जस्ट बिकॉज इवन इफ आई डू नाउ यू विल नॉट बी टू रिमेंबर इमीडिएटली सो दिस इज दीज आर द ओनली पॉइंट्स एंड प्लीज गो होम एंड रिवाइज द होल पोर्शन अगैन इफ यू डू इट टूवाइज यू विल नॉट फर्गेट दिस टॉपिक अगैन जस्ट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन ओके शुड आई स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव फ्रेम्ड करेक्ट ना सो इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अब तुम लोग आंसर करने वाले हो ठीक है 
तुम लोग आंसर कर मैंने बहुत मेहनत करी है क्वेश्चन बनाने में आई कुड हैव डन मोर क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली मुझे बाद में लगा बट सो दिस क्वेश्चन आई ट्राई टू फ्रेम ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द क्वेश्चन गिवन इन द आर टी पी अब तुम्हारा हो गया तुम्हारे पास में बुक भी है सब कुछ है अब आंसर करोगे तुम रेडी ऑल ऑफ यू आर यू रेडी टू गो जी ओके हंसना मत मिस्टर राम गेव एन इंटरव्यू फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ सी एफ ओ इन एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी एज पर मिस्टर राम्स परस्पेक्टिव एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ही इज सपोज टू फुलफिल रोल्स लाइक गवर्नेंस ओके द कंप्लायसेज कंट्रोल्स अकाउंटिंग एंड फाइनेंस बट द पैनल एक्सप्लेन हिम द एनहेंस्ड स्कोप ऑफ ओके रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ही हैज़ टू फुलफिल ओके विच रोल इज नॉट एसेंशियली कंसिडर्ड एन इंटीग्रल रोल ऑफ अ सी एफ ओ बताओ भाई आंसर वन का आई वुड आई वुड वॉन्ट एवरीबडी टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एवरीबडी कुछ खास नहीं सूरज देख लेना बेटा को, कोई खास नहीं है उसके अंदर में यू कैन गो थ्रू ऑन योर ओन ऑल्स इट इज ओके जस्ट गो थ्रू पढ़ेगा ना तो खत्म कर देना सी इज द आंसर ओके सी इज यू यू थिंक सी इज द आंसर सी इज द आंसर ओके वेरी गुड द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ क्या लिखा है द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ आई विल नॉट रीड दैट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डैश लिमिटेड इज प्लानिंग वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यू वेरी वेरी गुड येस येस वेरी गुड मजा आया ना देखो बस इसी तरह के क्वेश्चन होंगे तुम्हारे लेकिन हाँ बनाने में टाइम जाता है विच आई एम रेडी टू इन्वेस्ट वेरी गुड ऑल ऑफ यू से सी एंड इट्स रियली नाइस नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन The management of Dash Limited is planning on the financial strategy. Okay, they decided to have a debt to equity ratio of two is to one. What is the name of the company? Jindagi Jhandba. Okay, they decided to have Yes, she's saying, hey, ma'am. You please re read that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, she... Sanjay Singh, ma'am. D why not take? Okay. D why not take? 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 ओके इन पोस्ट पैंडमिक टाइम द रोल हैज बीन एडवांस इन द फॉलोइंग एरियाज इन एडिशन टू द ट्रेडिशनल रोल रिस्क मैनेजमेंट ओके सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट मर्जर एक्विजिशन एंड कॉर्पोरेट रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग एंड एनवायरमेंटल सोशल एंड गवर्नेंस फाइनेंसिंग समझा क्या संजय कुमार तो देर इज नो प्रोडक्ट एंड मार्क यहाँ पे है क्या वो चॉइस दिया है वो चॉइस है ही नहीं यहाँ पे इसलिए नहीं लिया है ओके सो दे आर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज This question is going to be critical for you. Please be careful. देख के बोलोगे ढूंढ के बोलोगे तो भी मुझे चलेगा लेकिन राइट आंसर बोलना द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डैश लिमिटेड इज प्लानिंग ऑन द फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रैटेजी दे डिसाइडेड टू हैव अ डेट इक्विटी रेशियो ऑफ टू इज टू वन ओके वे डेट वुड बी लेट मी चेंज द कलर आई एम नॉट लाइकिंग दिस कलर एट ऑल वुड बी रेस्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ बैंक लोन एंड इक्विटी वुड बी रेस्ड एज फॉलोज ऑन द पब्लिक ऑफर ओके एज ऑन द पब्लिक ऑफर दिख रहा है क्या ओके ए सो द मैनेजमेंट फील्स दैट करेंट बिजनेस दे आर इन टू आर क्वाइट लो इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिस्क एंड हैंस दे हैव द लेवरेज ऑफ चूजिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट विच हैज रिलेटिवली अ हायर बीटा टू इंक्रीज द ओवरऑल रिटर्न एंड वैल्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन फॉर द शेयर होल्डर्स ओके द फर्म इज कॉन्टेम्पलेटिंग वेदर टू रिप्लेस एन एग्जिस्टिंग मशीन विद अ न्यू वन और यूज एग्जिस्टिंग वन फॉर टू ईयर्स यू हैव बीन आस्ट टू कंप्यूट द एन पी वी ऑफ द रिप्लेसमेंट द शेयर होल्डर्स आस्ट फॉर अ ग्रेटर पे आउट रेशो एज अ कंपनीज रेवेन्यू एंड प्रॉफिट जम्ड बाई थर्टी परसेंट बट द फर्म्स ओके वॉन्ट टू डिसाइड ऑन द मैटर taking long term fund requirement into consideration these are the four statements which have been provided okay i'm saying based on the above statements please answer the following questions careful financing decision investment decision so please tell me ki kaun sa kis mein match the following hai basically 
सब लोग आंसर करो भाई स्टेटमेंट ए इसमें आएगा फाइनेंस इज इट अ फाइनेंसिंग डिसीजन इट इज अ इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन इट इज अ डिविडेंड डिसीजन और पोर्टफोलियो डिसीजन क्विकली एकता एंड रिया से इट इज अ फाइनेंसिंग डिसीजन ऑल ऑफ यूर ऑल ऑफ यू थिंक दैट इट इज अ द आंसर इज ए ओके ऑल ऑफ यूर सेंग इज ए यस ए इज योर आंसर सो आई टोल्ड यू देर द स्कोप ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट इज द टॉपिक स्कोप ऑफ फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट आई टोल्ड यू their financing decision is about mix of debt and equity investment in, uh, investing decision is about which project to do when to do kitna dale nahi dale kare nahi kare all this is investment decision dividend decision kitna baate dena hai nahi dena and all that okay and then the overall portfolio very good very good all of you very good statement b ka bolo bhai jaldi bolo statement b ka tell me about the statement b I told you, Yash and me have got love and hate relationship. So, देखो अभी उसको प्यार आया मेरे ऊपर में ठीक है Thank you. A is correct. All of you are correct. Yes, correct, correct. Now B का बोलो भाई B का एकता is saying portfolio decision. Do all of you think it is a D. Yes, correct, correct, very good, very good, very good. The management feels. नहीं सूरज B नहीं होगा बेटा B नहीं होगा क्या लिखा है The management feels that the current business they are into are quite low in terms of risk. So they are thinking in terms of the portfolio, na? स्टेटमेंट अच्छा ये रहा ये रहा ये रहा ओके समझा अभी क्या बोल रहे देखो ठीक से पढ़ो सारा द मैनेजमेंट फील्स दैट द करेंट बिजनेस दे आर इन टू आर क्वाइट लो इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिस्क एंड दे हैव द लेवरेज ऑफ चूजिंग अ प्रोजेक्ट विच हैज रिलेटिवली हायर बीटा टू इंक्रीज द ओवरऑल रिटर्न ओके एंड वैल्यू मैक्सिमाइजेशन फॉर द स्टेयर होल्डर्स क्या लिखा है करेंट बिजनेसेस मीन्स दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द पोर्टफोलियो बी बी होगा आंसर नो डी होगा ना बी का आंसर डी होगा नहीं ना बी इज पोर्टफोलियो राइट बी शुड बी पोर्टफोलियो यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द पोर्टफोलियो दैट ओवरऑल रिस्क ऑफ द पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ बिजनेसेस इज लो नाउ वी कैन टेक सम हायर रिस्क बिजनेस ओके इन ऑर्डर टू मैक्सिमाइज अ रिटर्न करेक्ट नाउ स्टेटमेंट सी स्टेटमेंट सी का क्या आएगा बताओ द फर्म इज कॉन्टेम्पलेटिंग वेदर टू रिप्लेस एग्जिस्टिंग मशीन ओके विथ अ न्यू वन बोलो जल्दी C का क्या आएगा C इज वॉट C विल बी फाइनेंसिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो और डिविडेंड क्विकली C इज इन्वेस्टमेंट एकता इज सिंह मैम C इज इन्वेस्टमेंट यार डेस्ट करेक्ट यू विल डिसाइड पैसे डालें नहीं डालें ओके प्रोजेक्ट करना है नहीं करना है B में और C में बहुत फर्क है वॉट इज वॉट इज पोर्टफोलियो मीन्स इन अ पोर्टफोलियो ऑफ माई थिंग्स ओके आई विल हैव टू मेक मतलब मैं रैंडमली स्टैंड अलोन डिसीजन नहीं ले सकती हूँ मुझे अपने सारे बिजनेसेस को देखना पड़ेगा कि नया वाला बिजनेस जब मेरे पोर्टफोलियो बिजनेस के अंदर जाएगा देन व्हाट इम्पैक्ट विल इट क्रिएट ऑन द ओवरऑल पोर्टफोलियो वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो दे आर सेइंग इन्वेस्टमेंट यस एंड दिस विल बी डिविडेंड एंड वी आर डन आई विल शेयर दिस शीट विथ यू इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द लेक्चर डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दैट बिल्कुल चिंता मत करो मैं तुरंत शेयर कर दूंगी तुम्हारा डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक बना करके डरा हुआ रहेगा वहां से डाउनलोड करके प्रिंट आउट निकाल लेना वेरी गुड नाउ द थर्ड एंड द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई डेंट गेट टू मच ऑफ टाइम टुडे अदरवाइज आई कुड हैव क्रिएटेड मोर क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू एक्चुअली वेरी केयरफुल सस्टेनेबल ग्रोथ मॉडल कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज पे आउट रेशियो इन टू आर ओ करेक्ट करेक्ट प्राची सो 
sustainable growth model can be calculated as payout ratio into ROE, 1 minus payout ratio into ROE, payout ratio into ROR, 1 minus payout ratio into net profit margin, only A, only B, only C, A and D or B and D. Which one is the right choice? Which one is the right choice? Quickly, which one is the right choice, guys? No, I'm asking, yahan pe answer karo na. Yahan pe answer karo. Which one is the correct answer? Only A, only B, only C, A and D or B and D? Yes, E is the right answer. E is the right answer. This is your right answer. Why? Because, see, look at this. So, G is equal to B into R. As I told you, B is your retention ratio. Okay, retention ratio and 1 minus payout ratio. Okay, na? Now, R is your ROE. So, basically, B into R. B into R or 1 minus payout ratio. Ye wala to sahi hai na yaar. Ye wala aur ye to, ye to sahi hai. B to sahi hai hai. Ye sahi hai. Correct hai? Now, 1 minus payout ratio. To B ke jagah pe kya ho gaya? So, G will be equal to B into what? Net profit margin. Sikhaya to tum loko mene abhi. Ya, ye wala hoga. Abhi to sikhaya tum loko mene. B into net profit margin pat by uh, sales okay then sales by uh, assets okay and assets by net worth bola na tumko so basically what will happen here as a result of that you know sales will get cancelled assets will get cancelled and roe is basically pat by net worth correct hai? so what you are going to get is pat by net worth All of you are comfortable, done, properly, happy. Yes, then bye-bye. Okay, so we are meeting on Monday again with another chapter called Risk Management. Thank you so much. Study hard. Okay, but basically, you, I will not repeat what Yash asked me to repeat for the name of the company. I just gave that word. Next line you will add to yourself. Okay? Chalo. Bye bye. Good night. Have have like have your dinner. Relax karo. Tension mat lo. Achhe se ho jayega. And I am like like really happy. All of you joined me live. I request you sincerely. Please join live. Itne kam time mein tum khud se nahi kar paoge. Bata rahi hu main tumko. Itna maza bhi nahi aayega. Saath saath mein ho jayega. Kam khatam. Thank you. चलो बाय 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 थैंक्स अ लॉट सो स्टे ट्यून्ड बहुत मजा आता रहेगा दो घंटा मेरे को दे दिया करो बस मैं पूरा टॉपिक तुमको करा दूंगी बहुत अच्छे से ओके okay? तो लाइव आना ऐसा मुझे धोखा नहीं देना सब लोग ओके okay? लास्ट तक बने रहो एंड इन द मीन और भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियोज आर गोइंग टू बी अपलोडेड लाइक इन द बिजनेस वैल्युएशन दे हैव एडेड सम वर्कस अप्रोच एंड मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट सो वी डू नॉट हैव एनी क्वेश्चन ऑन देन If you know at all in the business valuation topic, they have added lots and lots of like valuation of a startup actually they have added and they have added models there and on sare models pe sums bante hain. They have not given. So we are going to do that also not in this batch but I will record a separate video for that. So stay tuned. Bye bye. Please you will comment on my channel on this lecture. Okay, you will like this video and you will subscribe to the channel also. My team has asked me to do this every day regularly. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Monday, Monday, yes, we are meeting on Monday, sharp at 7. Bye-bye.